right, what's going on guys and welcome to Live for Speed. Yep, this is going to be my next one in the series and say hello to the camera. And this is one that I used to play quite a bit of it. Now, as you can see, I got a NAS2 license now, but back in the day when I first started playing this, um, I didn't. And I was only playing the demo. And as you can see, I'm playing with this car because I like it. But in the demo, you only had the XR GT and the XF GTI. Now, I, th I believe that nowadays you got an also formula car, but back when I was playing this, and we're talking about like maybe eight to nine years ago, um, when when this game first came out and was, you know, at the height of its hype, um, I, w I was obviously, you know, being kids and whatnot, uh, we would only play with the demo. So I, I spent so many hours on this track with this game that it's insane and uh, even on a really really crappy computer this game played like a breeze uh, obviously now with a serious computer this game plays great so is it the best game in the world no absolutely not but it still holds up its own in aged very well in my opinion where it it still is perhaps one of the best simulation games out there today now why am I saying it's one of the best because you can actually like stall the car and obviously you can still do that in some of these games of nowadays but it, it's like when the car auto starts after you stall it and then it just starts running normally then what's the point of, of having stall and that's that the, the type of part of the simulation that I do love now another strong point of this is the physics um, I think they've nailed the physics in this game quite well where the car reacts as a car would react in real life for the most part anyways obviously you can mod that to you know change it to whatever you want but you know as is it plays off really really well so again I spent so many hours oh, this turn is lovely um, I spent so many hours with this game um, and sometimes the gears weren't engaging for some reason and I think I wasn't pressing the clutch properly and I think that's what part of the problem was uh, sometimes the gears don't engage fully in the, in the video so the car kind of stays neutral um, you can see my ABS system working there uh, this is one that does support ABS I know some of them don't especially some of the earlier cars but anywho yeah so obviously I've, I've loved this game for quite a long time now in this video in particular that's why I probably am not gonna do too many of these videos uh, unless I go play online again because uh, again I used to, in the demo you can actually play online with other people and that's what made this game so great back in the day it's like me and my friends could all play it together and uh, whoever got a, a controller first would win because playing with a keyboard is just not too good playing with a G27 now I think it's you know top of the game but um, yeah, it, it was still fantastic back when it was. And I remember on this part here, we, we used to drag race because obviously this was the, the only track available at the time. It was this one, a rally one, which nobody cares about. And there was a car park kind of thing where you could just, you know, smash each other up. Um, but yeah, on this one, uh, we used to drag down here with our new setup, see who would be the fastest or who would win best. And uh, yeah, th those were great days, man. So I'm glad to kind of be back at this. Don't expect to see many more videos of this because obviously the game is limited. Um, uh, again, it's not one of them games that I can just say, oh yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, play it and, and or race or whatever. Because I'm, I'm not very good at racing, uh, especially with a wheel like this. I don't, I don't think I'd do too well, at least not yet. I'm not, uh, I don't have enough practice on it yet. So once I'm a little bit you know more confident that I know what I'm doing then definitely I will do a few more uh, a few more videos for you guys of, of me actually do some racing it's probably project car is gonna be my big next one um, I still gotta do a set of courses as well but I don't know what I'm gonna be doing there unfortunately I don't have an Xbox to play fours although I do want to play it so bad uh, that is crazy I do have Midnight Club Los Angeles on the PS3 which I can play but I'll at this point that would be such a pain in the ass to set up that I'm just considering to, to leave that for a much later date uh, 
so yeah keep keep tuned for that I'm, I'm not gonna disregard it just yet but definitely I'm not going to uh, I'm, I'm not just gonna go jump on it now as you can see I've done these laps and I wasn't I wasn't racing I wasn't speeding uh, yeah this is where <laughs> things kind of went wrong I wasn't racing I wasn't speeding I wasn't you know doing anything I was actually just doing it all right and um, yeah, I was driving alright for a while though, so uh, that's that's what gets me. That's that's how I personally learn. I don't know about you guys. I'm gonna do some drag racing here with uh, different cars, I suppose. And yeah, this is all post commentary because, like I explained before, I haven't set up my audio recording just yet um, to the way I like it. So I'll do that at a later date where the microphone is out of my face, but it still picks up my voice quite nicely. And yeah, so, um, I, I, I can't even remember what I was on about before, but yes, having a lot of fun with this setup now, um, yeah, about learning how to drive fast or whatever, um, the way I learn is I do normal laps, normal speeds, or however slow I, I can, you know, until I learn the track. And until I start learning the speeds and when to brake, when to turn and all that. So I go sl very slow the first time just to, you know, see where the track goes. Then I have to go more, you know, of a more normal speed. And then I'll try to go as fast as possible. And that does seem to actually work out quite well for me. Where I just go really, really fast and, you know, I do the tracks okay. So, um, yeah. I suppose that's a little tip for you guys if you, if you want to learn. So, again soon as I feel more confident and more comfortable that I, I can drive okay, then I will definitely start driving up a little bit better. Because obviously, you know, then at least I'll know what I'm doing. So that's why I don't really do much racing nowadays with this. I, I just wouldn't be any good at it. And, uh, and this is where I was testing out what I was telling you guys before. The gears weren't engaging properly. And as you can see right now, they're not engaging because I'm not putting my foot down on, on the clutch deep enough so that's why it wasn't happening this is the oval track I, I, I didn't even record me switching it this time yeah this is the oval track so if you want to test out a car and as you can see this one doesn't use the, the stick shifts you just use the paddles to shift and that's the way the car is so you can't really change it but um, yeah if you want to test how fast the car is always go on the oval track this is kind of like it reminds me of Gran Turismo I think it was Gran Turismo 3 a spec where you had a really really massive long ass track and obviously oval one as well like this one and like if you were to go from point A to point B as, as it was for to do the track normally then obviously you could only do one lap and that was it uh, but if you do it backwards you could do however many laps you want to do and see how fast you could actually get a car to go and obviously we could tune up the cars to do like 400 miles or whatever way back when and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's some guides online that you know helps you out to do that but obviously the experiencing all that and, and just getting it to work like that that's you know that's really what we want so um yeah again any type of games you guys want to see me play or any suggestions you have for these kind of sets up please do let me know as i just started doing this uh, I'm very very new to this whole racing scene but it's one that I do like and I've been wanting to get this kind of wheel for so freaking long and I finally got it so yeah that's uh, that's working out and as you can see yeah parked <laughs> uh, I'm just having some fun and although the destruction car destruction kind of thing isn't the greatest but you know the game still holds its own very well and has aged quite okay and it's super responsive, the wheel feels great, um, you know, the shifting feels great, everything is really, really good, and I suppose if you kind of want to get more confident driving, instead of paying, you know, 200 bucks for your instructor to give you a one hour lesson, where it's 45 minutes of him talking about his day, and then just, you know, 15 minutes of you actually driving, um, then definitely I'd suggest just invest that money a bit more wisely and as I took my hands off the wheel this time just so you guys can see the, the thing turning on its own that's force feedback for you and it's force feedback is not even that high on this game I've turned it down to almost nothing now on this drag uh, race which is gonna be I think the last bit in my video 
Um, I'm not actually driving with other cars and with other people. So, it's a bit unfair because I, I do have the fastest car, so obviously I'm gonna go way ahead of them. Actually, not that much because I'm pretty sure there's one here that finished like a second after me. But yeah, you can pretty much tell already where who's the fastest and who isn't. Um, but you can add AI to the game and that's something I haven't. And I was thinking just maybe add them to the car park and then just crash into them. But I forgot that AI doesn't actually move unless they have to. Um, so they, they, like if the race is over, they'll just stay there and won't move at all. So yeah, that's why I didn't put AI on. And... Um, Anywho, uh, this is just pretty much going to be me screwing around here with the other cars, so I'm not going to, you know, go on for too much longer, and I hope you guys have been enjoying these videos. I haven't done post commentary since Call of Duty days, and I haven't played Black Ops 3 yet, believe it or not. I don't think I've actually played Call of Duty properly or religiously since Black Ops 2. That was really my last one. I never even touched once Advanced Warfare. And very only briefly, no, actually, no, I've, I've played Advanced Warfare, it was Ghost that I never even touched, sorry, I'm getting the titles confused now, never even touched Call of Duty Ghosts at all, ever, and I completely skipped that one, and I've very briefly played Advanced Warfare on the PC, but uh, again, I wasn't having too much fun with it, so I just kind of like, dropped it, Black Ops 3 is out now, and it's probably going to be really good, but uh, I haven't touched it yet, and I'm just not too... I'm not too keen on, on actually playing it. I might just do zombies for you guys, but we'll see how it goes, see how it plays on my computer as well, because I heard it's not very well optimized, so I don't know. But um, yeah, so it goes for that. Hope you guys enjoyed this video as well, and of course, suggestions, comments, and all that are always welcome. What should I do next? And I'll see you guys on the next one, I suppose.